Hi guys, what's going on and welcome back to another video on Conqueror's Blade. So, a little bit of a random one today. Just been playing a lot of these Axe Raiders because they're just such an amazing unit. Definitely a little bit on the powerful side, probably a little bit overpowered, realistically. They are very, very effective. Um, and just hunt, hopped into this game on Dassau Fort and just kind of wanted to show off this clip because it all goes rather well. And given this is my YouTube channel, things don't go very well very often, so got to capitalise on them while we can. Anyway, pushing up the siege tower initially. Initially defended, pipe militia, a couple of heroes, get stuck in with the pole axe, which incidentally I've really been enjoying playing. It's been a breath of fresh air to be heavy armour again. Just go straight up to the top, initially going with the um, double axe throw, because unshielded unit, all that, that sort of range, all my parts are going to hit. Really effective. Grabs us 15 kills. Follow up with the one key. Charge over the top. Get the hero kill. Finish off what's left. Get quite a lot of damage in quite a short period of time. I pull back initially just to assess. But while there's not a lot of stuff on A, there's actually quite a lot of stuff behind the gatehouse. And really, we've got to deal with that stuff, otherwise it's going to interrupt the A cap. So we come round, I go for my one ability, and then follow it up with the charge. Also go in my lock of a strike, and look how quickly we build up kills here. They <laughs> just get slaughtered the shield unit so quickly. We are taking quite a lot of archer fire from behind. Oop, crap a few of those pavies with an axe throw while we can. But this unit is super tanky. And yes, we take some damage from those pavies, but not enough to actually kill any of the unit. And that's the main thing, well, one one of many main things about this unit is that it's insanely tanky. Particularly as its health starts to diminish because it gets an element of self-healing back. And it gets significant um, damage reduction. Even more recently, with the introduction of the Doctrine missions, they get a 75 point melee damage reduction as well. It just makes them so ridiculous. But anyway, I could have pushed back to the supply point to heal, but I decided it's time to go onwards. Pushing the unit round, we are still taking Watcher Fire, Archer Fire, quite a bit of stuff. And we've got a little bit of a block here. And this unit is great at dealing with these blocks because it can phase shift. So we press the one to throw the axes in and we follow it up by pressing one a second time. And look, the unit basically ends up in the middle of the Forte Braccio and Imp um, Imperial Shield block. Two tier four equivalent units and we just absolutely slaughter them. Oh right, we had the team there to help and that sort of soak up a little bit of the extra damage. But this unit is just crazy in what it can do. You know, we're up to, a, what, 107 kills already? We've only been in the game a couple of minutes. Push on and grab a few of these extra archer kills. Because, well, why not? I was really enjoying myself by this point, so all and any kills are always welcome. Push on a little bit to some of these enemy heroes. I have got an assassination doctrine on these, which helps a little bit, but they cut through enemy heroes perfectly brutally enough. I am out of ammo by this point, so I'm only meleeing them. But we grab ourselves an extra two hero kills. I could have perhaps chased down this bow hero a little bit more. I kind of wanted to, but he was on the run and I couldn't really be bothered. And the unit really did need healing by this point. And I'm completely out of axes. Mm. Well, what's the unit of axe raiders with no axes? Some, well, raiders, I guess. <laughs> but so we head back to the supply point. Get them healed up. A lot of the units still in the game. And let's see what we can do next. Go for a quick little cheeky heal myself. And I'm just waiting for the unit to basically get healed. We obviously still haven't got B or C, so we've got to push one way or the other. Normally, you know, people push down this staircase here, and actually it looks like a reasonable fight is breaking out already. That's why I'm pulling the unit to me, even though it's not quite fully healed yet, because I want to get stuck into that fight at the bottom. We've got quite a lot of the team engaged. I want to be getting down and helping them while they're all, well, still alive, really. The unit does move relatively quickly, so they get down here not too bad a time. Initially, pull up like this unit next to me, go for the double axe throw. Gives me a few kills, and then getting a little bit closer, and we actually get hit on the side, which caught me out. Kind of well played by those iron caps, because I wasn't expecting it, um, as you can kind of see by how I reacted. That meant I didn't get my sort of phase shift off, but even though they got the ambush, they got the charge into the side of me, this unit still easily overwhelms them. And we're now up to 150 kills. We push on a little bit more, grab a few more kills, just a few little serves, I guess, kind of easy kills there, and then we're pulling back. 
But you see, look how much damage the unit, or how little damage, I suppose, the unit has actually taken in that engagement. And that was a fairly long engagement. We were being shot at by archers most of the time and engaging a lot of melee units, but it didn't really affect them. I was a little bit too far behind on that charge. We captured some of the back unit spearmen, but not quite enough. They turn and engage me, which in of itself is fine. I can deal with these guys as, as a unit. I'm not too worried about that. But more stuff is starting to come up. I use the charge to phase shift through them to get round behind the shields. It works nicely. Up to 180 kills. But now we've got a unit of pikes coming in and it's in pikes. They go for the walk. And this is really what kills me, unfortunately. Because it's just a little bit too much. But we still managed to get up to 190 kills in the end. These Axe Raiders are just crazy. They're such a, such a powerful unit. Certainly extremely dominant at the moment. And, uh, yeah, one I'm taking in my in my sort of unit lineup every time because you just can't really go wrong with them. Anyway, certainly made for a really fun game. And uh, yeah, if you haven't unlocked them, certainly Axe Raiders are worth getting a little bit of a look at. And if maybe if any of the devs are watching, they could probably do with a little bit of a nerf. Anyway, how have you been getting on with the Axe Raiders? Let me know in the comments down below. Of course, subscribe to the channel for lots more Conqueror's Blade content. Hopefully, Keshig's next. And I shall see you guys all on the next video.